Hey guys, hope you've been well. Today I'm gonna to be talking about my EDC flashlight, which is the Olight S1R. I'm gonna be talking about the Olight S1 Baton as well because I have both of them. Uh, and with most of the reviews on my channel, I don't really talk about the specs that are just on the back of the box. Uh, if, you, if you're interested in those, the weight and all that stuff, you can click the links in the video description below. I always put links. Uh, clicking those links helps support the channel, so I always appreciate that. Uh, but I'm just gonna be talking about uh, real world use, my thoughts on it, why I choose to carry it, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, maybe future improvements, that kind of stuff. So yeah. I'm gonna be talking about my, my channel and future videos and stuff at the end because people have been accusing me of rambling too much at the beginning of the video. So if you're into that rambling stuff, I'll try to put it at the end of the video. Uh, and yeah, we'll just go ahead and get into my review of this light. And I kind of apologize, I'm a little stuffy. It's uh, snow, crazy spring snow here in Colorado and I was out running around in it so I got kind of a uh, runny nose and stuff. So yeah. So here we have it. This is the Olight S1R though it is basically the same as the Olight S1 Baton, albeit you can see the little bit of size difference here. So the differences are this is 500 lumens, this is 900 lumen max, this has a rechargeable base, this one does not, though I believe they sell a version of the S1 Baton with the rechargeable base. Uh, the button activation is the same, single button here to turn it on and get to the different modes, the uh, light color temperature and pattern is about the same. So for all intents and purposes, they're pretty much the same light with a few different differences. So I'm gonna just talk mostly on this one uh, because other than everything I stated, they're basically the same light. So when I'm looking for an EDC flashlight, I'm looking for something that is small and compact and easy to use and just kind of does what I need it to do. And this kind of comes the closest to doing everything that I would like it to do uh, there's no perfect flashlight out there. I wish there was. I wish this instead of this button activation had a momentary tail, tail click here. They could operate like that, but it doesn't. And tail clips on the back add a little bit to the size of the light and they might interfere with the recharging portion and you might not be able to have the magnetic base, which I love, which is the main reason I use this flashlight. So you can't have everything. So this one has most of the things I'm looking for, small, very usable, good output, and rechargeable, which is great. So the recharger is magnetic on this. It's just a standard USB. I plug it into a charger like this, plug it into the outlet and just kind of like sit it on top like that while it's charging. Uh, takes up no space and very easy to use. So the recharger, I like having an easy to recharge unit like this because I like keeping my flashlights topped off. Granted, I don't charge it every day, like before I go to bed because I don't use my flashlight that much, but I charge about once a week, once every couple weeks. Uh, and that's nice because I like knowing that I have a full charge on a battery versus flashlights that are just using your standard non-rechargeable. Uh, you can either choose to you know, discard your batteries early and put a new fresh one that's topped off or just kind of run the risk of running this until it's out and then maybe you'll have a really low battery or a dead battery when you actually need to use the flashlight. So having the easy, easy to recharge unit is very convenient and I think that's a huge plus that's going for it. Uh, you can run, in this one, in the non-rechargeable version, I run a rechargeable uh, battery in here. So I can do the same thing with this rechargeable battery albeit I need to unscrew the cap, plug it into a charger, all that stuff. So this just makes it stupid simple, easy to have a unit that is always charged. So that's a huge, huge bonus. Uh, one of the big reasons I wanted to go with this rechargeable version. So that I love. The tail kit, the, the uh, not the tail cap, the uh, pocket clip on this rotates around so you can have it oriented wherever you want your button to fall in your pocket. I carry it like this usually, but you know, to each his own. It does have the clip in the orientation where you can put it on the bill of a hat if you want and then use it like a headlamp and the, the tail is flat so it does tail stand. Uh, it's also magnetic so it'll be extra solid tail standing on something metal like this zinc uh, dining room table I have but it will tail stand on anything, any flat surface. Uh, in addition, the tail cap like I mentioned earlier is magnetic so you can do a lot of tasks where you might have something nearby that you can stick this to and then you can stick it, turn it on or turn it on and then stick it and then have both your hands to work with. 
So that's a feature I use all the time uh, in my own personal life. You may not use it as much, but you can, you know, magnet, you can stick it to the hood of your car and it'll shine into your engine bay. You can stick it on your door and it'll shine to your work area, stuff like that. Uh, so the magnetic tail, tail cap I use all the time. That's a huge, huge, another huge bonus of this light uh, and why I like it. So let's get into the actual operation of the flashlight. So there's a single button on the side here uh, and you can just press it. It has a memory so whenever you press it, it returns to whatever mode you had it on last. Once it's on, you can hold it down and it cycles through the modes. So low, medium, high. And those are the three modes. The high isn't the brightest mode. So what you can do, which is pretty intuitive, but kind of one of those things you'll have to remember is once it's in any mode, in any mode you want, it could be on low, it could be on medium, it could be on high. You double click it and it goes into turbo mode. And then you double click it again and it goes into like super turbo mode. So that's how you get to the 900 lumens uh, that's plenty bright for anything you need. Uh, and I usually don't even go into turbo, turbo mode. I usually use, you know, it at medium setting. So when you go cycle through, I usually have it on medium as my default because that handles most of my needs. Sometimes I'll go into high and if I'm really trying to illuminate something far away, I'll go into one of the turbo modes. Uh, another mode that I use all the time, which is nice and you know, somewhat intuitive because a lot of these smarter lights have a system that works something like this is called the moonlight or the firefly mode. So from off, no matter what the, no matter what uh, power it was before you turned it off, you can long press this and that goes into this super dim mode. It's under, it's under lumen, I forget, it's like 0.3 or 0.5 lumens maybe. Anyways, it's called moonlight or firefly and it's super convenient if you're walking around in the middle of the night and you don't want, you don't need a bright light for something. You need just enough illumination to see where you're stepping to look into a drawer or something. Uh, so you can always get to that mode just by long pressing this button. So it's another really useful feature in these modes. And that's about all, it has, it has some other stuff like timer, you can turn it on for like 90 seconds or three minutes or something. I don't ever use those modes, so I don't even know how to get to them. So I'm not even gonna talk about them. Uh, but yeah, that, those, are the, those are the operations and it works pretty good. It's easy one-handed operation. So another thing I like about the light is just its compact nature and its size. Uh, a lot of times, like I mentioned earlier, I will stick the magnetic tail cap to something when I need to use both my hands and I will illuminate uh, whatever I need to illuminate like that. But a lot of times, if I need to use both hands, I'll just put the end into my mouth uh, and I don't bite it with my teeth. So all you dentists or whatever out there, don't worry about that. I kind of bite it with my lips uh, and that it's kind of hard to explain how you do it, but you kind of put your lips in between your teeth and kind of just bite down on your lips. Not too hard, obviously, because I'm not trying to draw blood, but the light, it, the light is light enough uh, and small enough to where it makes it pretty easy to handle tasks like that. You know, short term, if, I, if I'm needing both hands for a, an extended period of time, I want to use a headlamp or something, you know, a proper piece of equipment. But for little things, if I just need to real quick pop this into my mouth and use two hands to do something and then grab it with my hand again. Uh, this light works well for that. A lot of the larger lights, you can't do that uh, without really using, biting down with your teeth. Uh, it'll hurt your lips too much. So I try not to bite down on my teeth because they're not tools or whatever that saying is. So the small light compact nature of this light makes it easy to use in your mouth uh, if you need to as well. This thing to note that I, I never noticed using it myself, but uh, apparently, the tail cap, and I, I've tried it. If you touch your tongue to the middle part, you get like a little, you know, like a nine volt battery kind of shock. So it's not, you know, it doesn't hurt you by any means, but it'll like let you know that it's there. Uh, I don't stick my tongue onto the light when it's in my mouth, but apparently some people do according to their views on Amazon. So it's another thing to note. Other than that, realistically, there's not really anything I would change about the light. It has this little thing that you can attach a lanyard to if you want, if that's more your style. I do not like this little notch here uh, in the pocket clip because sometimes it allows, it doesn't allow the pocket clip to go full depth. It's still usable, but I, I wish this thing just wasn't there. I think the intention is for it to help grab onto pants or whatever, but if they could just remove that because I think it's stupid and gets in the way, that would be great for me. I could probably get in there with some kind of pliers or maybe like a little Dremel to cut it off, but I just, I haven't done that yet. But you know, now that I'm, now that I'm talking about it, maybe I will do that. Uh, everything else is really great. I mean, in how small this light is, really, you can't ask for much more. 
So some lights, so this light is one of the shortest lights on the market. They actually make a mini version of this, which I don't have. Uh, I contacted Olight to try and get a hookup over there to send me some lights, but they never replied to me. I emailed them like twice. So if you work for Olight or if you know someone that does, uh, tell them to reach out to me because I can't feasibly buy all the lights that I want to review. Uh, so there's other ones I'd like to review, but just haven't bought yet. So here is a Streamlight MicroStream, another great option that I think uh, the MicroStream uh, I've talked about before, I run it with a rechargeable 10440 rather than the regular AAA and that bumps the output way up and I don't know, it doesn't say you can do that so uh, you may burn out the bulb but I, I've been running them like that for years. So the Streamlight MicroStream you can see is thinner, a thinner barrel but longer. So for some, some carry placements, some orientations, maybe that would be a more preferable uh, size. But for me, this works all right. If it was thinner and did everything that it does now with the AAA, I would love it. But you know, uh, these batteries have more power. And all right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. If you found the video helpful, informative, educational, entertaining, any of that, take two seconds to hit that thumbs up button. I appreciate it. Get subscribed to the channel if you aren't already. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Oh, if people were wondering also, I do carry, I carry a Glock 19 with an XC1. So I do have a weapon light on my everyday carry gun. If you guys were wondering about that, just if you're curious, I do do that. All right, well, that's pretty much it for this review. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Uh, also clicking the links in the video description, like I said earlier, helps support the channel. So I always appreciate that. All right, I think that's it. Now I'm just going to be talking about random stuff if you feel like sticking around for that. I was planning on going shooting this weekend, but Colorado decided to dump like a foot and a half of snow on us uh, in spring. So I was going to still go shooting, but it just makes it a pain. If you do mag reloads and changes and everything, then you're, you got to dig through like a foot of snow to try and find your mags where you run. And I run and gun a lot, so it's like my mag could be anywhere. I can't police my brass, that kind of stuff. So... I don't like to go shoot really when there's a bunch of snow just because it's a pain in the butt. So I'll plan on doing shooting videos later. You know, I'm not a firearms instructor or anything like that. So I don't put a lot of stake or time or effort into like training type videos. So it's just kind of more for entertainment. You can see what I do. You can see how I shoot. You can see kind of what drills I run. But uh, probably for now, they're not going to be from like a this is how you should train standpoint. Uh, also, I still get requested quite a bit to do vlog videos. Uh, I'm planning to, but they sound like a lot of work. They seem like a lot of work. People put so much effort into their vlogs. I'm like, I don't got, I, ain't nobody got time for that. A lot of people have time for that, but I don't have time for that. But I'll still probably be trying to do some vlogs and they just, they probably won't be as cool as the other vlogs, but they'll go over some more basic stuff that I didn't feel like making like a dedicated video about. So those should be fun and maybe entertaining and look forward to those to those on the, the channel. And yeah, if you guys want videos on anything, I always like video requests because I know it's what people want to watch because it's being requested. So if you have any video requests, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Uh, I still have, I always have a queue of like 10 videos that I need to make. <laughs> so I don't need video ideas, but uh, I appreciate getting them and I may work them into the mix if they make sense and it sounds like something I want to make. So yeah, thanks. Thanks for sticking around, guys. And I'll just I'll keep making videos. So I'll just keep giving you guys updates as they come. This is a weird this is a weird ending to a video. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna end it. And I'll I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, see ya.